most people are in the shaded tent, so hello everybody in the shaded tent. Wave. I see you. <laughs> well, welcome everybody to the official launch of the City of Toronto United Way Employee Campaign. My name is Ro Shui and I'm the new project lead for the United Way office here in the city. It's great to see so many people out for a worthwhile cause. The city, the city employees have consistently stepped up to help build a better city. The United Way office this year has found a new home, the Toronto Office of Partnerships, also known as TOP. The TOP office actively seeks out strategic partnerships for initiatives that support the city's mandate and services and improve the quality of life here. United Way being a great example of a strategic partner for the city. And I think it's a fitting new home for uh, United Way office. Along with these features of the talk, we have an exciting bit of entertainment for you, which you'll also describe in more detail. Along with our goal announcement and the entertainment, today's event will also serve to highlight the larger group of municipal sector workers and how collectively we do important work and raise much needed dollars for the United Way. Each of the four municipal bodies joining us today will have their own launch where they will announce their goal. As we did last year, each of the leaders of the five municipal sector bodies will put their signature on the following joint statement, and I quote, we, the undersigned, do hereby endorse and support the goals of the United Way Toronto, and we call on our fellow employees to do the same. The United Way is one of the main sources of funding for more than 200 not-for-profit agencies uh, health, and social, health and social service agencies in the Toronto area. Each year, hundreds of thousands of Toronto residents receive assistance from the United Way agency. As a leader in cost-efficient fundraising, the United Way is a great way to help those who need it the most. When you receive your United Way campaign package, please read the brochure, speak to your canvasser, and make a pledge donation. We also encourage employees to participate in special events being held on behalf of the United Way, each employee can make a difference in the life of someone who depends on the services of the United Way. Thank you for your continued support. My final thought before I turn over to our host is to say to the city workers, I see many in our orange t-shirts, uh, burgundy t-shirts, that uh, you always come through for the United Way and I'm sure this will be no different. Let's have a great campaign. In addition, I'd like to acknowledge one distinguished guest who's not up on the stage. That is Kyle Stochner, who's my predecessor. He's somewhere in the crowd. Um, and has led this campaign for numerous years. I'd like to thank him for his years of service, for his enthusiasm and dedication, which is evident by his presence today. Without further ado, the village for the past 20 years, her quick wit, given nature, and outgoing personality also play up to her full, former public persona as Enza the Supermodel. So please give a round of applause for Enza, your host. Thank you, Mo. That was great. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Yay! Look at everyone in here. Oh, good, good, good. Look at those two girls over there. Look at them. Just wave high. Yeah! Okay, you're going to be like my audience target, okay? Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Thank you for having me here today. Uh, yes, I am Enza Anderson, formal, for, former supermodel. And uh, I want to say how wonderful this is to be hosting this uh, this afternoon. I'm excited. And uh, just a little background. A lot of people know me as running for mayor in the city of Toronto, right? Kinda? No? Okay, I'll tell you later the whole story, okay? But uh, just, uh, just, uh, just a little fun uh, uh, point. Uh, when I was campaigning, uh, people would ask me, Enza, Enza, what's your platform? And I would tell them, it's six inches. So it was so much fun. Well, thank you for having me here. So we got a lot of great dignitaries, a lot of politicians, and a lot of uh, great talent. So let's get this show going. So I understand that last year, last year, they just had, uh, they just had uh, city employees, and uh, it was a competition between city employees and the TTC in terms of this, this sing-off talent event. So this year, they've changed it up. So they've invited a whole group of people from, uh, from the Toronto Community Housing, Toronto Hydro, Toronto Police Services, the Toronto Transit Commission, and the Toronto Public uh, Service. Uh, the City of Toronto Employee Campaign for the United Way will start their campaign and announce the 20, 2013 campaign goal. And uh, that's why you're here to celebrate. So let's get this show on the road. I'm going to introduce you some guests that are going to be saying a few kind words. Uh, to get this campaign on its foot or on its heels. Right, ladies? 
on its heels, right? Good stuff. Okay, so our first guest that we have, we have Deputy Mayor Norm Kelly. Anthony Haynes, Anthony. Excellent, lovely. Next we have President and CEO of Toronto Community Housing, Jean Jones. I have to say that all the guys are looking very sharp today. I love it. I love a man in a suit. I love it. Next we have President and CEO, Toronto Transit Commission, Annie Byford. Andy, you're so popular. How was that uh, subway inspection last? Good? Good. I love subways. <laughs> okay. Representing the Toronto Police Services uh, campaign chair staff. Hold on. Superintendent Rick Stubbings. <laughs> Susan, thank you. Leadership Chair, Jim Hart. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. From the Toronto Professional Firefighters Association, we have Mike Ogle. Mike, thank you for coming. From QP Local 416, Mark Ferguson. Lovely, thank you, Mark. QP Local 79 and campaign co patron Tim McGuire. <laughs> wow, Tim, you got fans. Where did you get those people? Okay. From uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> to do Kapapsa. I, I, I was like reading it over and got it, but then it didn't just bring me. Kapapsa, Richard Matchcott, and Mike Major. <laughs> Mike isn't here? Okay, I'll fill in for Mike. I can fill in for Mike, right ladies? Okay. Tell Mike I'm filling in for him. From Toronto Public Library Workers Union 4948, Maureen O'Reilly. Congratulations, Maureen, for opening up that other library. You're doing a good job. See, I agree. I just want to let people know I agree. Okay. From G98.7 FM, Mark and Jam. Nope, we're going to introduce them later, right? We're going to introduce them later. And former contestant winner, Sheila Costa. We're going to introduce them later. Right, I got an update on that. We're going to do that later. So. Uh, we have G98.7 FM. They have a little booth over there. Katapsa, they're here as well. Where are you, Katapsa? Are they there somewhere? Where are you? In the back. Okay, they're in the back. Okay. We have Local 79, uh, Toronto Public Union. And as well, we have uh, the city's next, uh, Gen Next chapter, which is a group of... Um, young professionals at the city at the city to support the United Way and get involved in the community. So team up. To learn more, please visit their table. Excellent. So first person I'm going to bring to the podium. Oh, and also we have uh, to go, H2O to go, a little water uh, station over there if you guys are thirsty or need to freshen up. We got our food trucks down here at this end. So we're all pretty much set, right? Is everyone set? Girls, are you set? You two ladies, are you set? Perfect, perfect, okay. Okay, 
Oh, and I see Charlie's Angels over there. Look, look at those. You three in the second row. Wave, wave. That's it. Yeah, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay, let's get our first speaker going. I want to introduce to you our Deputy Mayor, uh, Norm Kelly. Woo! Of the city of Toronto, affectionately known worldwide as the center of the universe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I shop with my wife. And while she's putting the groceries through the uh, checkout, uh, I glance through the tabloids. In one of the tabloids years ago, I read something that has stuck with me since. The uh, Hollywood celebrity was quoted as saying, it's hard work becoming a star. It's even harder work remaining a star. Well, I can tell you it's hard work building a city. But as employees, I think you've done a heck of a job of building one of the great cities of this world. But as I just remarked, it's even harder to keep a great city great, to keep it a star. And you have committed yourself to that long haul contribution by participating in the campaign for the United Way. You know there are 200 nonprofit social service agencies that rely on the United Way. There are 700 campaigns that will be launched to support the United Way. Ours is one of them, and I have to tell you, one of the biggest and one of the best. And I want to thank you for the efforts that will be made in the weeks that lie ahead, and in recognition of your contribution to come, and in recognition of the contributions you've made to the United Way in the past, I want to present this plaque to a number of very important people. If you would come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I made the presentation to Tim McGuire and Brenda Patterson, a good starter there. I'm an assistant. I'm good. I'm good at notes and, uh, you know, okay, I can do your, like, show up for you whenever you're sick or something, right? So. Okay, excellent. I want to bring up our next speaker, our city manager, Joe Penichetti. Welcome, Joe. Serving our city is the key responsibility for all Toronto employees. It's a role that we all take on very seriously and with a great deal of dedication, with emphasis on customer service, and of course, a focus on our residents that are most in need. At the same time, committing ourselves to making Toronto a better place to live is really what is at the heart of the United Way mission. And no surprise, the United Way mission mirrors the City of Toronto vision, which includes that Toronto is a caring and friendly city and invests in quality of life. So our common goal, the City and United Way, is to help those less fortunate among us that need assistance. Every day, I think as you all know, in communities across the city, from downtown to the inner suburbs, United Way is making a difference. In communities connecting young people with opportunities that can help them build a brighter future, helping parents of young children be at their best in their new roles, working with newcomers to build roots and prosperity, supporting seniors in their communities, and being a part of ensuring that people with disabilities 
are included in everyday life. We all work together with the United Way to fund a network, as the Deputy Mayor has already spoken to, of more than 200 community agencies in partnership located in every corner of the city. I know all of you, all City of Toronto employees, care about the people in our city. It's evident in the work we do each and every day. That is something that we need to remember and to remind others as we go about doing our jobs, that we do care. In addition, many City of Toronto employees have a strong tradition of supporting the United Way as both volunteers and donors because they know the work of United Way and they know the need that exists in our community. And it's our community. It's where we work. So supporting United Way truly is an extension of our public service that we do every day in our jobs. As a result, I'm happy to say that, the last, year, that last year, we at the city, including Toronto Public Police Services, TTC, Hydro, Community Housing, were able to rally together and in total raise $3 million for United Way. And for the past 10 years, all of us have raised more than $30 million. Those of us... Thank you. It's, and of course, it's all of you. Those of us closest to the work of United Way know both the needs that exist and the importance of every single dollar raised during the campaign. I'm encouraging everyone to take a moment to learn about the United Way if you're not familiar with the work. Go to our website. Once you do, I'm confident that you will join those of us who are already donors in making a generous donation to the United Way this year. Through your payroll deduction spread over a year, your donation has an impact every single day of the year to all the needy ser services. I know in speaking with many employees over the past 10 years that I've been involved with United Way, that many of you over and above working with the vulnerable have had contact with recipients of United Way assistance, be it relatives, friends, or acquaintances. You know firsthand that United Way does make a huge difference to Toronto's vulnerable. Again, this year it's my pleasure to be part of the larger United Way campaign cabinet, with, which has representatives from both the private and public sectors, along with our city colleagues. I represent the municipal sector on the cabinet, which includes the City of Toronto and city agencies as part of the public sector group. Anthony Haynes, CEO of, of uh, Toronto Hydro, leads the public sector and the cabinet, including the provincial and federal governments. In a few minutes, you will hear from Tim McGuire, the president of Local 79, who is also a member of United Way cabinet representing municipal labor. And this year is a co-patron along with Deputy City Ma Manager Bender Patterson. And I want to emphasize at this point that this year's campaign is truly a joint campaign coordinated by management and union and association leaders that are all here today uh, and are fully committed to the United Way campaign. Once again, this year, each of the five leaders of Police Hydro Housing and the TTC and the City of Toronto have already signed a letter of endorsement in support of United Way. We started this joint launch last year and it's a commitment that we all feel is important to continue into the future. This joint letter, as I said, has been signed and will be circulated this week to all staff. In conclusion, I want to wish each of my colleagues, our municipal partners, every success in their launch of their individual campaigns over the next few, few weeks. And to all of you and to all city staff, Let's all give back to Torontonians who need our help. Thank you to everyone, and more importantly, for the rest of the afternoon, have a great day and have fun during the campaign. Take care. Well, listen, you call me. I'll take care of them for you, okay? Okay, good stuff. I want to introduce you to our next speaker, and uh, she's coming back uh, as, uh, camp as uh, campaign patron another year is uh, Brenda Patterson, ladies and gentlemen. Brenda, wow, that's a lot of work.
You're doing a lot of work. We have a lot of, uh, we have a great team in the United Way office. Some of them are, are brand new and uh, led by Mo, and we're really excited about the opportunities this year to launch and run a really great campaign. And of course, we wouldn't uh, be able to complete the campaign without our leadership chair, Jim Hart. And we really appreciate the efforts he makes to coax more and more money out of your pockets for the United Way. I'm also happy to see lots of people in the audience. For those of you that are in the shade, good choice, um, that are from the Toronto Public Service and from many of our, uh, of our uh, members of our, of our team. And at the end of each campaign, you may or may not know, we do take a few moments to celebrate our efforts. And uh, one of the things that uh, we do is to attend a United Way uh, dinner where, the acknowledge, where they acknowledge the efforts of many of our campaigns. And in 2012, QP79, under the leadership of Tim McGuire, won the Spirit Award for the best organizational support in the public sector. So we want to thank Tim for that effort. We're also very pleased today to be joined by all of the members of our unions and associations, and these unions and associations are a key uh, part of making our campaign a success, and we're really pleased that they're here today supporting this work. The work that the Toronto Public Service does demonstrates the core values that we share, and frankly, those values that we follow in day-to-day -day life, we give life to those when we pr actively participate in the United, Cam United Way campaign. We, at the end of, of our United Way campaign, know that we will make a huge difference in the lives of many thousands of residents who benefit from the programs for the United Way. And I think Joe's already talked about our accomplishments, but for the last 12 years, the United Way campaign run by the City of Toronto has exceeded whatever goal we have set. And for those same 11 years, we've been honoured members of the Million Dollar Club, raising at least $1 million in contributions, and we want to keep that going this year. With your support, we will. I'd like to take a moment to also thank the United Way project team, who've done a tremendous job of preparing um, us for this year's campaign. Their door is always open to lend a support to our volunteers. It's going to be a very challenging year again, but I'm confident that together we can support this worthy cause and make a huge difference. So I want to wish each and every one of you a successful campaign. Remember to have lots of fun, but keep your eye on the, the benefits that the United Way brings to all of us in the city. Thank you. I'm a follower. I can lead, but I love following sometimes, so we'll talk. Excellent. I want to introduce our next speaker, President and CEO of Toronto Hydro, Anthony Haynes. Anthony, welcome. Three million dollars that you raised last year. It has really gone to changing the lives of so many people around Toronto, and so thank you very much for that effort last year. We at Toronto Hydro are in the business of public service, and as Joe has already said, much of what we do each and every day is serving the citizens of Toronto. So it's only natural that Toronto Hydro, therefore, put its full effort in behind the United Way program each and every year. And I'm proud of the fact that over the last few years, Toronto Hydro's employees have been able to raise $2 million to give to this very important and very worthwhile cause. And each and every day as our employees are out on the street, we get an opportunity to see the benefits associated with that, that, that charity and that giving. And I can tell you, as part of the administration of the United Way, that your dollars are used very efficiently United Way, in fact, has one of the lowest administration costs of any charity around the world. And it's because of volunteerism and all, the, all of you that make your efforts known and put your shoulder into this effort that we're able to keep um, the administrative costs so low and so many of the dollars that you give it end up in the place that they're supposed to with the people that need it most. And those are many of the reasons why all of the employees at Toronto Hydro feel that the United Way is the right program for them. I can tell you personally that I was out just the other day with the United Way agency that services the elderly. And the elderly in our community is a real growing group. In fact, something like 30% of, of that group will that group will grow by 30% over the next decade. And so it's an area of real interest to the United Way, making sure that these people have the services and are taken care of with dignity in the way that they deserve. And I got a chance to see how the United Way agency was in fact delivering Meals on Wheels programs and ensuring that those seniors got off to their medical and other services that they needed. I can truly tell you that United Way is doing great work in the area of seniors. 
And so for all of those reasons why Toronto Hydro puts its full shoulder in behind this program this year, I'm looking forward to a healthy and vigorous campaign. I'd like to shout out to uh, Chris Terrell, give a wave. Chris is our campaign leader this year. And we certainly appreciate his efforts. And like we like to have great fun at Toronto Hydro, we try to set ourselves a tougher and tougher goal every year. And the poor, the poor leader that takes on that objective at this time of year has a small panic going through, their, through themselves saying, I will never be able to do what we did last year. And somehow we are able to do it. So Chris, we set a high bar, but I know you're up for it. So thank you very much for your efforts. And let's start that great campaign. Thank you, everybody. So I'm like, I'm like very good, right? And I've changed to like those, what do you call those new light bulbs? The, 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 that's right, yeah. So I'm like, I'm there for you guys. Okay, I wanna bring our next speaker uh, to give us a word of encouragement. President and CEO of Toronto Community Housing, Jean Jones. Jean, welcome. On my many occasions, I have seen the positive work that United Way does across this great city. Many United Way agencies are based in Toronto community housing neighborhoods. They give our residents access to supports and resources that make a real difference in their lives. Our communities are filled with young, gifted people. United Way supports our young residents through programs and services that help our youth be all that they can be. This is why Toronto needs United Way. I believe in our youth and their potential. 2013 is the year of the youth at Toronto community housing. This year we have created hundreds of jobs for youth and with our many partners engaged more than 1,000 youth through our summer program. And there's more to come. On October 27th, Toronto Community Housing will host a youth summit called If I Rule TO. At the summit, Toronto Community Housing Youth will engage with elected officials and other youth from across Toronto. And we will continue, continue trying to get donations for United Way. Together we will imagine a city where youth have a voice and where youth can make a dif dis decision that shape their future. Ladies and gentlemen, I adore Toronto. I chose to come here from the United States and I'm proud to live and work in such a great city. United Way helps make Toronto great by making a positive difference in someone's life every single day. So I'm pleased to support United Way and give generously this year. And I appreciate my colleagues, the Deputy Mayor, also Joe Pinichetti, his staff, my staff, TTC, TPS, Toronto Hydro. Thank you all. Andy Byford. Andy, Andy, I just want to say, I want to say this. So I'm on the Queen car. I love the Queen car. And there's this beautiful bus driver. And he was so nice and so courteous. And he was welcoming all the passengers and saying, I'll help you and everything. Good job. I want to just say a great job for those wonderful That's drivers. Right. Happy okay. 780,000 dollars for the United Way in what was always going to be quite a challenging environment and this year we set, we're setting out to do it bigger and better than we did it last year so we're ready to roll. Uh, this year started off I went along to uh, the CNIB, Canadian National Institute for the Blind uh, and we made a video which I've got in my pocket ready to show uh, to our staff back at base and my colleagues also participated in that video. And you know what, two things really brought home to me the power of the United Way this year. Number one was making that video, because actually going to one of the primary recipients of the, uh, the money that we raised, namely the CNIB, and finding out about the sterling work that they do, that really reminded me why we do this uh, campaign every year. The second thing was, we just had our United Way uh, launch for the TTC. We had our annual launch at Hillcrest, one of our biggest uh, facilities. John Torrey was the MC. Uh, and we had a guy called Bob Duff come along and Bob gave a passionate speech about why, this, why the uh, United Way is important and what it meant to him from a personal perspective. And only at the end of that story did we find out why it was so personal to him because he was actually someone whose life was transformed by the United Way. In fact, it wouldn't be exaggerating his words to say that the United Way and the sterling work that you guys all do and that my colleagues do, that changed his life. In fact, to put it, use his words, that saved his life. So that's why we do the United Way. And this year, um, we're ready to go. So we're about to embark upon uh, our usual favorites, but with a few new things thrown in. So we'll be doing the pizza days. Uh, they're hard work, but they're really fun. You get to sell a load of pizza, and we will be uh, talking to customers at the same time, getting a bit of customer feedback about our fabulous uh, service that we operate. 
We'll also be um, doing the TTC Idol again. So uh, later on, you're going to hear from Marty, wherever Marty is, who was our winner uh, last year. So once again, we'll do the Idol. Um, we're going to do something new this year. In fact, I'll say something new. We're bringing something back, which is called Band on the Run, where we're going to have a band on a streetcar that's going to go around uh, Toronto in, uh, sorry, not in service, but uh, people will be able to, I think, get on the streetcar, get to hear some fabulous music. Um, I'll be joining that streetcar, I'll probably get kicked off, but really looking forward to, um, to seeing that streetcar. And at the end of the, uh, the year, we'll also have our usual, usual finale. And we're setting ourselves a target to move up from 780,000 up to a million. So Kathy and Nancy, our fabulous coordination chairs, no pressure. That's what we're aiming for, we're aiming for a million. And the final thing we're going to do, October the 20th, uh, last year, Mr. Haynes foolishly threw down a gauntlet and said, uh, challenged us to, uh, to do our bit for the United Way, and I think you might have mentioned the CN Tower climb. So um, I did it last year, I did it in 18 minutes, 50 seconds, something like that. I'm doing it again this year. So what I'm saying is, uh, if I can do it, you can do it. And you know what? That means uh, you, Jim. That means uh, you, Gene. You, you just turned up here. I expect to see you on October the 20th. Get your running gear on. Get up those steps. You again, Anthony. Uh, Deputy Minister Kelly, I'll see you there. You'll be climbing the CN Tower with me, right? Excellent. Mike Totoma, it means you too. No point in hiding. And ladies and gentlemen of the press, we can see you over there. Get up that tower. Let's really give it a go this year, everyone. TTC is going to be right at the forefront. We really look forward to playing our part in what is a fabulous uh, uh, a, f a foundation for Toronto. And I'll leave you with one stat that I didn't know. I found out at our launch event, one in three Torontonians relies on uh, the, and, and is a recipient of the United Way. So that's the stat to remember. Let's give it a real hot go this year. Thank you. Well, we'll let him sign and then we're gonna, then I'm gonna tell him this. Hold on, here we go. Andy, them, those words are fighting words, right? Hey guys, are you up to that challenge? You guys, you're up to that challenge? Twice, oh my God. Okay, those are fighting words, I'm ready for that. Last but not least, I would like to bring up to the stage from our municipal sector leaders, Superintendent and Police, Toronto Police Services Campaign Chair, Rick Stubbings, representing the TPS, and bringing greetings on behalf of Chief Bill Blair. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Renzo. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for coming out here as our campaign lead at the Toronto Police Service. And I want to tell you that public safety and public service go hand in hand. All of the members of the Toronto Police Service get that. The money earned through the 2013 employee-sponsored campaign will be invested into our local community where we will get to see an investment immediately. Our members see the first-hand results. And you know what they see? They see things like community hubs. They see things that happen in the community as a result of your support. Community health centers, new, newcomer settlement services, youth programs, conflict resolution, uh, violence against women. And you know what? Serving the people of Toronto takes our members directly into personal contact with many of the people that require timely assistance provided by the United Way sponsored agencies. One of those clubs or agencies that I'd like to mention here today on behalf of Chief William Blair is that of the Good Neighbors Club. The Good Neighbors Club has been around since 1933. Talk about staying power. They're located at 170 Jarvis Street and they do a lot of things for people that need a lot of things. Such things as providing meals, a, a warm place to, to be during the day, resources for counseling, meals, uh, computer access, library, but you know what? Treating people with dignity and respect is a place that they can feel comfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, these are all things that you and I take for granted without even a, a, a single thought. Through both voluntary employee payroll deductions and fun, and I say fun as Joe did, corporate team building activities, members of the Toronto Police Service will leverage strong financial support for the United Way Toronto to provide a level of dignity and simple access to services that enhance public safety to those that need it when they need it. The dollars that we all give to the United Way can collectively do so much for all of us fortunate enough to work directly in public service. 
let's try to remember the power of the collective impact that we all have as we sit up here at the stage here today. I want to also thank our talented contestants that you may know are coming uh, for their enthusiasm for stepping up here today. And finally, I've, I've got to be, I've got to say this. I want to thank the United Way Toronto. You, your team is amazing and, and you really work well with our team. So thank you to your team. Thank you to Kathy and our team and all the members. Come, if you're set, standing, come in and sit. Come in and sit. We want to love to see you hang around. How are you guys doing in that little area over there? Yeah. You guys are cheating, cheating. You should be out in the sun, enjoying the sun. Oh, finally. Good stuff. So I'd like to bring to you the reason why we are all doing this and why we care and why we're spearheading this wonderful campaign. I'd like to bring up from the United Way of Toronto, CEO of the United Way of Toronto, Susan McIsaac. We have enjoyed. All of your organizations are keeping our city running, are keeping it safe, are making it a place that we all want to live. We are honored and grateful to work in partnership with your organizations. I thank you all. I, uh, I have to say there is no time of year when the partnership that we enjoy with you comes more to life than this time, when everybody launches their campaigns. The work you do year round is so invaluable to our city, but at this particular time, it's a lot more fun. So I thank you all. I thank you for leading these great campaigns. I have to just single out the City of Toronto for a moment because after all, this, this is their kickoff. So I just want to take a moment on our partners here at the City. We have uh, been partners for so many years and it is an, an amazing thing how at this time of year everybody comes together and truly makes uh, this such an exciting campaign. Brenda mentioned that last year uh, the city raised over a million dollars and became a part of a really important club called our Thanks a Million Club and I'm going to come back to that in a moment but I, I want to just mention that there's no way that can happen except for so many people coming together to make it happen and I thank each and every one of you for stepping up for being a part of the campaign for giving of yourselves for giving of your time of course for giving generously of your resources but the the spirit of the campaign truly carries us through so I thank you all I want to uh, just acknowledge, uh, Brenda touched on the fact that this year the campaign will be co-chaired by Brenda with Tim McGuire, uh, who is the president of QP Local 79. Um, that's a really exciting uh, step forward for the campaign. We've always worked so closely with all of the folks in labor, but it's great to see you co-chairing the campaign, Tim. Thank you so much for doing that. And I want to ask Brenda and Tim to come forward because I want to present them with a plaque to acknowledge the huge contribution uh, of the City of Toronto uh, with all of their supporting unions, City of Toronto Administrative Professional and Supervisory Association, Canadian Union of Public uh, Employees, Local 79, Toronto Professional Firefighters Association, Local 3888, and Toronto Civic Employees Union, Local 416. It is an extraordinary accomplishment that you do year over year, and I want to present this to you for the great accomplishment of last year. Thank you. who uh, started off this wonderful uh, this afternoon he's going to continue on to introduce some more people thank you Enzo so our campaign could not be successful without the engagement of our staff that's you so I'd like to invite Tim McGuire campaign co-patron for this year and president of QP79 to say a few our words employee campaign you will be hearing many stories over the coming weeks of lives touched in Toronto communities by the incredible work of United Way and its member agencies. I believe that part of my personal story is that I would not be where I am today if it were for community agencies akin to United Way in rural Ontario in the late 60s and 70s in Durham and then in Niagara, community groups and helped to ensure that our struggling large farm family had clothes on our backs and food in our stomachs and the same applies to Toronto communities under United Way help. 
Now I'm president of QP Local 79, representing inside workers at the City of Toronto TCHC Bridgepoint Hospital. Community engagement and support for the United Way have become big priorities for Local 79 over the past years. In fact, at Local 79, we wanted to make sure that labor was represented at the highest levels of the United Way effort to support Toronto's communities. That's why Local 79 was the first labor organization to sponsor and participate in the United Way CN Tower stair climb last year. The president did it in 18 and a half minutes. And that's why I will be climbing the CN Tower twice this year. Once in the president's challenge on Thursday, October 17th and on Sunday again with the Local 79 team. Yes, we truly want labor to be represented at the highest level of the city, 1,766 stairs high. However, I speak today not only from Local 79, but from as one of two labor representatives on the campaign cabinet and as co-patron of the City of Toronto and United Way employee campaign. Labor has been a longtime partner in the United Way. In fact, Labor has been there since the beginning, in 1956, as one of the founding partners of the United Way, and we continue the tradition through the efforts of individual unions and through the support of work of Labor Community Services. Labor representatives work together with community partners and with employers at the United Way Campaign Cabinet, at United Way Toronto, where Leslie Chang from Local 79 sits on the board, and also here at the city. The 2013 United Way City Employee Campaign is a joint effort, as has been mentioned, together with various unions and staff represented. QP Local 79, 79 represented myself, Local 416 represented by Mark Ferguson, Maureen O'Reilly, I'm Irish, I ought to be able to say it, Irish background, O'Reilly from QP 4948 at Toronto Libraries, Toronto Professional Firefighters by Mike Ogle, Ogley on behalf of President Ed Kennedy, who I understand I owe a golf tournament too, um, and from Katapsa, Richard Matchcott on behalf of President Mike Major. These representatives of public sector workers here at the City of Toronto and libraries and other agencies deserve a round of applause for stepping up to support Toronto's communities. I also want to give a shout out to our management partners in the United Way effort here at the City, principally City Manager Joe Petichetti. co-patron Benner Patterson, who both who have agreed to work together with labor representatives to support Toronto communities, and Mohammed, uh, Sharia project lead. Finally, a shout out, a big shout out from labor to the hundreds of volunteers that will be collecting donations on a day-to-day -day basis, working hard throughout the campaign. Not much longer, folks. As we launch the 2013 City of Toronto Employee Campaign, it is important to recognize two significant challenges facing us as we all work hard to achieve our fundraising goals. First, Toronto communities are facing increasing challenges with poverty. At a recent public forum I attended, former Mayor David Crombie was asked what were the biggest challenges facing Toronto today. Out of the myriad of challenges, transportation, environmental issues, other infrastructure issues, he chose to, to name income inequality as the biggest challenge facing Toronto today. And according to United Way report, quote, the number of high poverty neighborhoods in Toronto has more than quadrupled over the last 30 years, from 30 in 1981 to 136 in 2006, and this trend does not seem to be abating. In order for Toronto to succeed, we need to succeed together. And in order to do that, we need to build healthy and socially sustainable communities. Members of the United Way agencies play a huge role in supporting communities, and in order to support, support United Way agencies, we need, need more donations. This brings me to the second challenge. United Way donations in the public sector from public sector employees are down nearly 10% over the last few years because the public sector and its workers are also facing increasing challenges and resulting low morale. It takes courage for representatives of workers, particularly for representatives of public sector workers, in times of fiscal restraint to look beyond the impact on members and the morale of members in order to benefit communities and our members, we, and the communities we serve every day. 
So again, I think these representatives should be congratulated. It is a substantial move for representatives of employees and for management here at the City of Toronto to come together in the face of both of these significant challenges to help Toronto's communities in a time of need. I hope the media are listening and report this. They should tweet this, people should tweet this like crazy. Here at the City of Toronto, Labour and management are putting aside our differences and focusing on the common goal of sustaining communities, of community building. This should be front page news tomorrow. Media, are you listening? Um, we will work to together to do whatever we can to support this campaign and the volunteer canvassers as they do their work. Through this joint effort, I am confident that we will not only meet our campaign goals, but surpass them on behalf of Toronto's communities and their needs. Thank you. So on behalf of uh, Katapsa. Thank you, Richard. Oh. And if I can uh, ask uh, Tim and Brenda to stay up and invite Mike Ogley from uh, the Toronto Fire Professional Firefighters Association as well as Tom. Is that right? Sorry, Tim. <laughs> present a twenty thousand dollar check on behalf of the Toronto Professional Firefighters to the United Way. So give yourselves a round of applause. So you probably want to know, what are we going to aim for this year? Well, so if I can ask everybody to step up, we're going to actually do the uh, unveiling. I'm going to need your help, though. This requires audience participation. I'm looking at you over there in the shaded tent. So this is where I need your help. We're going to do a little slow clap to build up, like this. Not yet. Let's practice. Ready? Exactly, because I, I don't have a drum roll, so you're going to help me with the slow clap. Does that work? Sounds good in the tent? We're all good here? Great. So if I can have a... In the front after, yeah. Can have everybody in the front, that would be great. So this is the goal for this year's Toronto Public Service. We have over 700 volunteers helping us out, and we're going to hopefully reach $1.1 million. loud enough. Do you think we can do it? There we go. We got some life and that's just in time because right now we're about to begin our singing competition. So I'm going to throw it back to Enza. And we're going to be introducing our judges right now as they're setting up. First of all, I want to bring to the stage. Let me get to that page. Let me get to that page. Hold on. Just